Wow. Boom. That was satisfying. <laughs> hey everybody, I'm Dan Rizonski, Vice President of Sales for Dynamic Friction Company, and Dino Crescentini, co-founder and parts guru for Dynamic Friction Company. Now, Dino, you've had a lot of fun with the pads on the track. You've told us about the different lines that Dynamic Friction offers. Now what we're going to do is tell our viewers in-depth details and differences that really aren't discernible to the eye, that you can't readily see just right away from looking at these different pads. To me, these pads look exactly the same. Can you tell us what the differences really are between them? Yeah, not only do they look exactly the same, but um, that's the way, unfortunately, most of our competitors view the product as being exactly the same. But they have completely different characteristics for completely different applications. So, as Dan mentioned, these are all the same shape. It's actually uh, a very, very uh, highly used uh, Brembo-type caliper uh, that's applied to all kinds of uh, vehicles in the industry. I mean, everything from Teslas to Hondas to Mitsubishis to Maseratis to Cadillacs to Volvos to Saabs. And, and typically, what you'll find is our competitors will just look at this as one shape and offer one formula for ac across the board for all these vehicles. You cannot do that if you really want to have uh, uh, an effective brake system, and, or certainly if you want to restore it to, to the way it worked originally. So what you've got here, and let me explain the different formulations, we have actually here four different uh, pad uh, uh, formulas in the same exact shape. Uh, and three out of these four are actually very specialized low metallic brake pads. So just getting to, to have an effective low metallic brake pad is one thing, but when you understand that most of our competitors would use a semi-metallic as a replacement, now we're talking a whole new ball game. So for, for example, here you've got a pad which is the most common use of the D1001s. It's a mid-level low metallic brake pad, and I say mid-level from a friction output standpoint, not in terms of quality, so please understand that. This fits everything from a Tesla to a Honda Civic Si to a, a, a WRX Mits, uh, uh, Subaru. Subaru, sorry, thank you, and a Mitsubishi Evo, among, among others. This one here is a very specialized uh, version of the D1001, very high output, low metallic pad, um, and it fits everything from a Volvo to a Saab to a very to a specialized high performance Buick. This here, again, looks the same, this is a ceramic formulation, but not just a normal ceramic formulation. It's a very high output ceramic formula. Again, if, uh, most of our competitors would just offer their basic ceramic as a replacement, uh, and you would have performance and feel uh, differences that you would uh, with, the, with the OEM replacement, which, which this really is. This fits um, a Cadillac. Uh, among others, but primarily for Cadillacs where they wanted smooth performance, but high performance. This last one here is, is an extreme performance uh, friction material. It's also a low metallic, higher performance than these, but that's only because that's what came applicated in this vehicle. So it's, it's very high mu, which is very high output. It's, a, it's very firm, so it has very low compressibility, and it matches what came out of the vehicle to replicate what, uh, what came in the car originally. So that's uh, an overview of what we got going on here. So if, if I understand correctly, these pads are interchangeable because, because they fit the, the pad shape, the FMSI, the D1001 shape, yeah. fits in the caliper for all these different vehicles, even though the performance applications, the use, whether it's a grocery getter or a very high performance sedan, they can all be interchangeably used in the same caliper and they'll fit. You can do that. That's not what you want to do, though. Exactly. So what we do is we make sure that the friction formulation is very specific to how that vehicle is going to be used, where our competition, really what they're doing is because it fits all these different vehicles, they'll maybe just use one formulation that fits all. That's correct. Got it. That's what we found, and that's really what you, you should not do. Uh, again, we're trying to replicate what came off the vehicle. We want the after you do a brake job with DFC friction products, we want it to feel like it did when it came off the showroom floor. And that's what you'll get with our program. Fantastic. Well, thanks for letting us know. Um, I hope all the viewers out there are a little more educated and know a little bit more of what we put into our pads 
and what makes us different from the competition. Thank you.